Hello everyone and welcome back to our video class here at CSEC Math Tutor. In this lesson, we're looking at number bases again and we want to concentrate on how to convert from base 10 to other bases such as base 2 up to base 9. We have two objectives and those are to write decimal or base 10 numbers in bases 2 up to 9 and we also want to convert between bases. Now, we had two previous lessons in number bases. The first um, lesson dealt with an introduction to bases and how to add, multiply, and subtract binary numbers. In our second lesson, we looked at how to convert from any base to base 10. And in this our third lesson, we are going to be looking at how to convert now from base 10 to other bases. The process that we use to convert from base 10 to other, other bases is division. And so what we're going to be doing is dividing whatever number we have by the base that we want. So in this question here, we want to write 75, which is a base 10 number, in binary or base 2. To do that, we're going to write our 75 here. And you would want to set up a table like this. It makes it easier and, keep your, and keeps your work neat. And since we want it in base 2, we're going to write, we're going to use divide by 2. So we're going to write 2 here. And what we're going to do now is divide 75 until we can't divide it anymore. So we're going to divide 2 into 75 and write down remainders if we have any. So 2 into 75, we know that that is 37. And... There is one remainder, 2 times 37 is, is 74, plus 1 makes 75. Now we're going to divide again. We keep dividing until we can't divide anymore. So 70, 37 divided by 2 gives us 18. 2 18s uh, make 36, which means that there's a remainder of 1. We go 2 again, divide into 18, that's 9. There's no remainder this time. We go again, 2 into 9 goes 4 times. 2 4 is 8, leaves 1 remainder. 2 into 4 goes 2 times, 2 2 is 4, no remainder. 2 into 2 goes 1 time, no remainder. And 2 into 1, we can't get a 2 out of 1. So we write a 0 here and then write this 1 here as our remainder. So um, this is a process by which we convert a base 10 number to a another base such as base 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We simply put our number there, we divide by whatever base we want, and when we reach this point, whatever remainder we have, we simply write it there and we terminate it. So how do we get our answer? We write our answer from the remainder column, and we write it in the direction starting here going up. So we write 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. And what we're saying is 75 in base 10 is the same thing as 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. That is a process that we use to convert from base 10 to any other base. Let's try it again with another example. Here we want to write 150 in base 5. So what we're going to do is write our 150 here and we are going to divide by 5 since we want to write it in base 5. Now, 5 into 150 gives us 30 times. There's no remainder. 5 into 30 goes 6 times. And there's no remainder again. And 5 into 6 goes 1 time. And there is 1 remainder. And then we have 5 into 1. We can't take another 5 there. So we put a 0 and write this here as our remainder. And it ends right here. And remember, we write our answer in this direction, going up. So 150 in base 10 is the same thing as 1100 in base 5. Let's try it again with another base so that you get um, the clear idea of how to do it. It should be um, getting familiar by now. So we want to write 235, which is a base 10 number, 235. And we're going to write that in base 8, which means that we're going to divide by 8. Now, dividing um, 8 into 235, 8 into 23 here gives us um, 2. We have 8 to 16. And that leaves us with 7. And then we divide 8 into 75. That leaves us with 9. 
So we have 9, 8, 29 here. And that leaves us with 3 remainder. Run it by your calculator and check it. And then now we are going to divide by 8 again. So we have 8 into 29. We have 3 8s make 24. So we can get 3. And 24 from 29 is 5. So we have 5 remainder. And we're going to divide one last time. 8 into 3. We can't. And because we are finished here with that, we write about this 3 in that slot right there. And we are finished. And that means now that 235 in base 10 is the same thing as write it this way. Remember, 353 three in base 8. So this is the process that we use to convert a base 10 number to any other base, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever the number is. We write our number here, and we do the division, put our answer here, put the remainder over this column, and then we write our answer in that direction, starting at the last digit. All right. So that said, here's one last question that we need to look at, and that is how to convert between bases. Now, we have 124 here. Sorry, not 124. We have 1, 2, 4, base 7. And we want to convert that to base 5. So how do we change 1, 2, 4 in base 7 to base 5? The first thing we need to do is that we need to convert to base 10. Convert to base 10. And once we convert it to base 10 first, we can then convert to other base. So let us convert 1 to 4, base 7, um, to base 10. To do that, remember, we have 1 to 4, base 7. So we're going to go up in powers of 7. So this is the 7 to the 0, then 7 to the 1, then 7 to the 2. And that tells us that here, remember, 7 to the 0 is 1s. 7 to the 1 is 7, and um, 7 squared is 49. So we have one, we have four in the ones column. So it's four times one. Plus we have two in the sevens column. So it's two sevens. And we have one forty-nine. Let me just erase this and write it in a different way. So we have four ones. We have two sevens. Two sevens and we have one forty nine. Seven to the zero, seven to the one, seven to the two. So this is four, this is fourteen, and this is forty nine. And we are going to add these up. Nine plus eight here gives us seventeen. And carrying a one. Four plus one plus one gives us six. So we actually have that one two four. 1, 2, 4 in base 7 is actually um, 67 in base 10. So now that we have the 67 in base 10, we're going to write our 67 here. And then we're going to change it to base 5. So we're going to divide by 5. And now 5 into 67 would go 13 times. 5 times 13 is 65. And that means that we have two remainder. And then we divide again by 5. 5 into 13 goes 2 times. 5 to 10. That leaves us with 3 remainder. And then we divide again. We notice that we can't get another 5 out. So we write a 0 and write this number here as our last remainder. And then we write our answer that way. So our answer to the, to the question 127 Sorry, I'm, I keep saying one, one, it's not 127. 124 in base 7 is the same as, writing it this way, 232 two in base 5. So this is how we convert between other bases, um, from one base to another base. So we have a number in base 7. We want to write it in base 5. This is how we do it. Say, for example, that this number was in base 8. Then we would have um, write, written, converted to base 10 first. And once you convert it to, to base 10, you, you then change it to base 5. If this number was in, ba was in base 9, then we change it to base 10. And then we write it in any other base using the same principle that we had here, that we have here. That's pretty much it.
Um, if you want to find more practice questions and material, you can go to the website and go to the um, textbook section. There you'll see a, a, a paper on number bases. And you can find many, many practice questions in that thing, in that section. We hope that you will, um, you have gathered a, some understanding from this lesson as we have gone through it. Pretty short, but pretty sp um, specific and precise. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe before you go. And continue to watch and learn and share with those persons who you know need to learn about these things. Thank you for watching.